I think there's been some really good things that social media has done for democracy, transparency, accountability with elected officials, better relationships with constituents. I also think it's also spurred on some of the worst tendencies that we have in a democracy in which people, um, you know, it, it really, I've, I've described it to people in many ways, it kind of feeds into some of the worst uh, of human nature that our founders feared. An impure democracy online in which people whip each other into a frenzy. And I think if, if we're not careful, it can be very damaging to democracy moving forward. It's changed how we communicate, how we communicate with our elected officials, how our elected officials communicate with us. Witness President Trump's Twitter feed and every time he sends a tweet, uh, it is front page news and it's, it's on um, all the cable news networks dissecting and analyzing it. So it's you know, become, become his, his press release. The tools that we create, we shape, but they in turn shape us. So I think it has to do with the fact that um, as, a, as a society, we are moving a little bit further away from being embedded in our communities. We see ourselves as being in a location, not part of a place. Um, and so more individual, less, less involved in the community. And I think social media as a tool has the capacity to either grow or develop both or kind of uh, detract. So right now we're a little bit out of balance. Well, I think it's uh, changed it in a, ver in, a, in a wide variety of ways, some to the good and some to the bad, right? So you have a democratization of information. You have a, a, a rich variety of sources that people can turn to to get political information. That's on the positive side. You've also lost some of that, some of the um, capacity of mediating institutions to sort of filter out the more legitimate information from the from the non-legitimate information. And so there's also an opportunity for there to be greater confusion and misinformation in the political space. In my opinion, it's changed the way that people approach politics and how they see politicians, whether that's good or bad, but it's made them more accessible um, and made it easier for people to engage with those they're thinking about electing. It, it's really, I think, become a, a channel for citizens and people to, to give feedback to lawmakers and their decision makers. Um, and effective, I think, lawmakers and leaders have learned to listen to that feedback and sort of embrace it and, and harness it, and uneffective ones have tried to hide from it, often unsuccessfully. Social media is also a place where you can find other people who think like you, um, who want to work on things that you want to work on. Um, it's a real connecting ground, but we have to take a step back and be mindful about how we're actually using this tool and how it's shaping us. Well, I think it's democratized in, in sort of the purest sense of the word. It's, it's, it's sort of given everybody access not only to information, but to, um, to getting their own information out. There's also a dark side of it that's becoming increasingly clear in uh, the proliferation of fake news, the, uh, the degree to which kind of uh, darker impulses of humanity seem to be able to find each other and and amplify themselves and you know I think that's the that's the troubling aspect of it